artwork. Um, I think social tokens are special because it allows you to, you know, be a fan, be in someone's creative world without having to, you know, really, really own their rights. Um, it allows you to actually more get so access. It allows you to actually build community, allows you to connect with more like-minded people. Um, and that's one of a passion point for me than, um, you know, owning someone else's rights. I did that in the music industry. I didn't really want to bring that to Web3. Got it. Got it. So when you developed the social tokens, is that something that you, you had a team to help you with that or? Well, I don't know. Something you... I haven't made my own yet. You know, that's definitely something that I would love to do down in the future. Um, there's something, there's something that people can do themselves. Um, I work at pools, like we were saying, I'm head of community there. Um, and yeah, there's different platforms like Roll and Rally and Coinvise and pools. It's a lot of platforms that allow you to make your own social token. Um, I think there's there's different ways to do it. I think there's a way for an individual to do it. Um, I'm really a big fan of the idea of when you have a cryptocurrency, it's really about someone who has like a broad community, you know, a community of, you know, tens of thousands, if not millions of people um, from their region or around the, around the world. And this is like the same way that you might have like membership points that you use on American Express or the way that you get points on Uber when you get too much food delivery, kind of that same type of way that you can use it in multiple ways. <laughs>